Hi, I'm Coach Ed Shar here with Brian Hennessy, and uh, my main goal today is to talk with Brian and set up a program that he has in existence because so many of my players want to know how can I get faster, how can I get stronger outside of basketball, and also deal with the injury prevention issue. Great. You know, I was thrilled when uh, Coach Ed Shar came to overachieve and wanted to put together a program as a father of a, of a, of a high school uh, female athlete. I know it's tough. What do you do? What do you do for your workout? The high school doesn't have a real good program. Do you go to such and such a gym? But when Ed came to me and he gave me the niche, what we're trying to work on, we, we were, were happy to put together and partner with Coach Shar. And we put a nice six-month program together that will cover all, all aspects. You'll, you'll get faster, you'll get stronger. We also have a conditioning component. And we have a huge component to help with some of, the, some of this ACL prevention. So the whole program is basically towered for, for the, the high school female athlete. And in the program, you'll see that you have the actual hard copy PDF that you can print. But we've also added some video of every exercise so you'll have plenty of resources. I know if you've never worked out before, you're gonna have questions. We build in uh, into the program where you can email us. And we're also, as a special uh, partnership with Coach Ed Shar, athletes are welcome to come to any of our public sessions and pay, in, pay the, the regular walk-in rate uh, just to learn how to do certain exercises so you can keep progressing, keep progressing on, on the workout program. Sounds great. Thank you. This is overhead squat with a stick. A few cues to keep in mind while performing this warm up is to keep your arms straight at the top and your shoulders in line with your ears. When we squat, we want to keep our chest up and sink our hips down and back while keeping the knees out. Scapular wall slides. You want to begin with your feet in a staggered position. Your forearms on the wall, sliding your arms up at a 135 degree angle. Pull back with your scapula and then back to the wall and down. Single leg quarter turns. While performing this proprioception warm up exercise, the goal is to land softly on the floor. So keep in mind that the first thing that should come in contact with the floor is the ball of your foot while you sink your hips and keep your chest up. Box jumps. The starting position should be about 6 to 12 inches away from the box. As you jump onto the box, the goal is to land softly, so the first thing that strikes the box is the ball of your feet while you sink your hips. You always want to keep your knees out while landing on the box and your chest up. Weighted dumbbell box jumps. The same technique applies for body weight box jumps. Keep in mind, before you take off, you want to keep your knees out and your chest up. Land softly on the box while sinking your hips and step down off the box. Single leg box jumps. Starting on one foot, we're jumping on the box, trying to land as soft as we can on the box. So sink your hips while maintaining an upright chest position. Dumbbell single leg box jumps. The same concepts apply as single leg box jumps. But now we are adding weight, so you really need to focus up on every jump. Jump shrugs. We want to jump as high as we can here and shrug at the top. Coming down, we want to land soft, pushing out our knees, sinking our hips into a quarter squat, and return back into our next jump.
Bulgarian squat jumps. A few cues to doing this exercise is one, you want to make sure your knee stays behind your toe at all times. You want to load the hamstring up and explode off of one foot as high as we can get. Coming down under control, sinking the hips into your next jump. Dumbbell step up with one dumbbell in the goblet position. You want to keep both heads of the dumbbell tight against your chest. With one foot on the box at all times, you step down and back up and squeeze the glutes at the top. Dumbbell step up with knee drive. A few quick cues here. Stepping on and off the box now. As we step on the box, we want to be fast and explosive, driving that knee up past 90 degrees and having that toe up as well. Both feet come on and off the box. Dumbbell step up, opposite arm, opposite leg. In this case, we're holding one dumbbell. I have the dumbbell in my left hand, so the first step I'm taking is with my right foot onto the box, continuing as a step up. Side step ups. A few key points here. Starting with your foot on the edge of the box, as we sink our hips down, explode up in one motion into a step up position. Our knee up 90 degrees and our toe up. Come down under control. Another important tip is to always keep that foot on the box flat. Bulgarian squats. Starting with your back foot elevated on a bench or box and your front foot out past your knee. You want to keep your chest up and sit down and back, driving through the heel on the way up. Dumbbell bench press. When performing this exercise, you want to lay flat on a bench and push the weights up and in like a triangle. Control the weights on the way down. You want to exhale on the way up and inhale on the way down, always driving through your heels. This is landmine lunge press. With this exercise, you want the front foot opposite to the working arm. You want to have a neutral head and spine position as you press the weight up and in slightly. You always want to keep your back glute tight. This is neutral grip shoulder press. Pressing the dumbbells straight above your head and back down to where your arms are at 90 degrees to the floor. You want to keep your abs braced tightly and your chest up, controlling the weight at all times. Dumbbell lateral raises. With a slight bend in your knees, you're taking two dumbbells and raising them by your side until you meet parallel with the floor. Control the weight on the way down Alternating glute bridges. You want to start with your hips up and your glutes active. With your heels always dug in, alternating, driving our knee up. Pull ups. Here I'm performing pull ups in the neutral position. A good cue is to pull up and try to get your chest to your hands. Do not stick your chin over top of the pull-up bar. Make sure we're getting at least 90 degrees with our range of motion. If we cannot do normal pull-ups on our own, try assisted pull-ups with a partner or with a band.
Opposite arm, opposite leg, hammer curls. Make sure we sink our hips from the start. The foot that's on the floor is opposite to the working arm. You want to start with your arms straight down and curl the dumbbell up in a neutral position all the way up and then back down. Dumbbell walk on toes. With two dumbbells, we want to walk 20 yards forwards, standing as tall as we can on our toes. Make sure we're keeping our core nice and tight. Then we're coming backwards 20 yards. And then lateral 10 yards, and then back lateral 10 yards. Lateral monster walks, starting in an athletic position with our hips low and our chest up. We're taking lateral steps, keeping tension on the band the entire time. We want to make sure our knees stay in line with our feet. We're going 10 yards laterally, 10 yards back laterally, 5 yards forwards, and 5 yards backwards. Remember, we need to keep tension on the band at all times. Single leg box squat. When performing this exercise, if using a dumbbell, keep the dumbbell against your chest at all times. You want to keep your chest up and we're pushing our hips down and back and driving back up on one leg. Try not to use the opposite leg at any point. Goblet box squats. When performing this exercise, you want to keep the dumbbell as close as you can to your chest. Sink your hips down and back, touching the box or bench, and then driving straight back up through your heels. Remember, we always have to keep our knees out and in line with our feet. You also want to keep your chest up and head up at all times. Push-ups. When performing push-ups, we want to keep our hands directly below our shoulders and our feet together. Remember to always squeeze your glutes and keep your head in a neutral position. Band resisted push ups. The same technique applies to normal push ups, but when using the band, you want to wrap them around each thumb and keep the band high up on your back. Front squat. You want to find the niche in your shoulders. Once you find that niche, place the bar in there and cross your hands. Then proceed to do a normal squat, sitting your hips back and down, keeping the knees out and spreading the floor. Inverted rows. This can be done with a bar or a TRX row. In either case, you want to dig your heels into the floor. With your head back, you're pulling your chest to the bar. You want to keep your elbows tight against your body and your body in a straight line, squeezing your glutes. Front plate raises. Start with a slight bend in your knees and your chest up. We're raising the weight to our arms meet parallel with the floor and controlling the weight back down. We can use either a plate or a dumbbell. Dumbbell shrugs, holding two dumbbells or shrugging our shoulders to the back of our ears, contracting at the top for one second and then controlling back down. Remember, we want to keep our head in a neutral position at all times.
Dumbbell single leg calf raise. Holding the dumbbell in the opposite arm of the working leg, we're performing a calf raise. When doing this, we want to keep the working leg straight and squeeze the calf at the top of the movement. Decline push-ups with our feet on a 12-inch box. The same technique applies to normal push-ups, but now our feet are elevated. We want to keep in mind that we need to have a neutral head position and our glutes squeezed. Hamstring curls on the ball. Begin on the floor, laying on your back with your feet on top of the ball. Then raise your hips, bringing your heels to your butt. Hamstring curls using furniture sliders. Begin on the floor, laying on your back with your heels dug into the sliders. You want to keep your hips up, bringing your heels to your butt. Dumbbell lateral lunge. Holding the dumbbell in a goblet position tight against the chest, lunge out to the side, keeping our knee in line with our foot. On the way up, we want to drive through the heel, keeping our chest up. Plyo push-ups. Starting in a push-up position, explode off the floor onto a raised object with two hands and then back down off the floor with two hands into your next push-up. Crossover step up. Holding a dumbbell in the goblet position close to our chest, if stepping to the right, the left leg will be on the box or bench. If stepping to the left, the right leg will be on the box or bench. Remember to keep the foot flat on the bench and drive through the heel. Modified Renegade Row While starting in a push-up plank position, alternate raising each arm to where they are parallel to the floor. Keep your body tight and still without letting your hips rock back and forth. Squeeze the glutes and keep your head in a neutral spine position. Plank. Starting in a prone position on the floor, supporting your weight on your toes and forearms. Your arms are bent and directly below your shoulder. Keep the body straight at all times and hold this position. Walking planks. Start in a plank position, alternating, extending each arm up. Remember to keep your glutes squeezed and your head in a neutral position. Side planks. The goal is to keep our core tight and engaged the entire time. We also need to keep the hips up and the head in line with the spine. Forward bear crawls. When performing these, we want to have a flat back and a neutral head position the entire time. We need to keep our core engaged and take small choppy steps. This movement should be done under control, so move slow. Lateral bear crawls. 
The same technique applies to forward bear crawls, but now we are moving side to side. Remember, our knees should stay at 90 degrees the whole time with our head in a neutral position. Keep your core locked in and engaged. General jumping and landing mechanics that apply to all of your plyometrics include the following. Starting with your feet shoulder width apart, sink your hips, pushing them down and back to load up the hamstrings. At the same time, you are driving your arms back. From this position, you want to focus on keeping your knees out while pushing through the balls of your feet. You also want to forcefully drive your arms forward at this time. When coming into contact with the floor, your goal is to land softly. So the first thing that touches the floor is the balls of your feet while sinking your hips and keeping the knees in line with your feet. Landing in a quarter squat with your chest up is the correct athletic position you need to land in. Broad jumps. Starting with your feet shoulder width apart, sink your hips quickly into a quarter squat. Explosively extend your hips, knees, and ankles and propel off the balls of your feet to jump out as far as you can while maintaining the correct landing technique. Remember to sink your hips and keep your chest up. Vertical jumps for height. Starting with our feet shoulder width apart, Sink your hips quickly into a quarter squat. Explosively extend your hips, knees, and ankles and propel off the balls of your feet, jumping as high as we can while maintaining the correct landing technique. Lateral jumps for distance. Starting with our feet, shoulder width apart, sink your hips quickly into a quarter squat. Explosively pushing off the inside balls of our feet, jump out as far as we can. Remember to keep the knees out and land in the athletic position. Power skips for height. Starting in the opposite arm, opposite leg position, we are extending one leg quickly while driving through the floor with the ball of our foot. At the same time, the opposite leg is driving up to 90 degrees to lift our body off the floor. During this exercise, you want your back leg to be straight and your arms moving from face cheek to hip pocket, staying tight to our body. Refrain from crossing the midline while driving our knee up. Power skips for distance. The same technique applies from power skips for height, but now we are trying to cover as much ground with each skip as we can. So we are driving down and back with the ball of our foot. Be as explosive as we can with each skip. Dumbbell RDL. Start with your feet hip width and a slight bend in your knees. Arch your lower back and pull your shoulder blades back. Slowly push your hips back as far as you can while keeping the dumbbells in contact with your legs the entire movement. Once you feel a stretch in your hamstrings, return to the starting position. Body weight standing lateral leg lifts. Standing up tall, hold on to an object with one hand. Raise one leg up and out laterally away from your body. Make sure you keep your toes pointed straight the entire time.